What's going on YouTube? It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike React Element 87 in the blue chill and solar red color. These dropped on October 11th for 160 US dollars or $215 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is black, cool gray, blue chill and solar red. So these release alongside two other colorways of the React Element 87. So we also have these ones, which is the Neptune Greens. And then the third colorway, which I didn't pick up, which was the blue and orange NYX colorway. So because uploading two separate videos for both of these colors is going to be pretty redundant, I opted to do my review on my favorite color of the two, which is this one. So if you guys haven't seen my previous reviews of the React Element 87, this video, to be honest with you guys, is pretty much going to sound exactly the same, except for substituting the names of the colors. So by all means, you can skip ahead to the on feet portion of the video if you choose to. For everyone else that's sticking through, so let's jump right into the shoe. So similar to the other previous colorways, these ones also have that translucent nylon upper. On the toe box, we have this small Nike swoosh found on the medial edge. And then we also have that additional internal fuse overlay to give you added durability. At the base of the toe box, we have this U-shaped pattern. This is constructed out of a very soft black leather. And then running up the sides of the shoe where the eyelets are, here we have this gray colored suede. Underneath this gray suede, we have another layer of 3M. In terms of the eyelets, so these are constructed out of black nylon with hits of 3M found in the center. Intertwining through the eyelets, we have these black trail style laces with this dotted white pattern found in the center. The top two eyelets are reinforced with this patch of solar red leather, giving it that very nice pop. As for the tongue, so the tongue is also translucent. It's outlined in black. At the very center, we have this hit of solar red suede. And then at the very top of the tongue, this might be a little bit hard to see because this is also done in black, but we have this Nike React branding and the Nike pinwheel logo that's stamped onto the tongue itself. On the midfoot of the lateral side only, here we have this oversized cool gray colored swoosh. As we move towards the back end of the shoe, so as you can see, this is colored in blue chill. We have this overlay of black tape found on both sides of the back heel, and then there's a solar red stitching, giving it a very nice contrast. Circling both ends of the back heel, we have this black colored TPU heel counter, and then found on the lateral side only, we have the words Nike React embossed in the middle. Found right in the center of the back heel, we have black suede with a solar red colored swoosh overlaid on top, and then there's a solar red pull tab with 3M running down the center. As we move on to the insoles of these shoes, so this follows the trend of the previous colorways where it features this cork insole. And then as you can see, there's this oversized solar red Nike swoosh. So the upper of these React Element 87s sit atop this full length React foam midsole. So this is the part of the shoe that really drew me to this colorway. So this is the first time that any React Element shoe features a black midsole. On the midsole itself, we have these unique wave-like cutouts along with these red colored rubber plugs that are found throughout. Flipping these over to the bottom, so the outsole is predominantly just your exposed React foam. However, we do have these overlays of red colored rubber found on the forefoot and on the bottom heel, which gives you added durability. From a sizing standpoint, so these fit exactly the same as all my other React Element 87s. So my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I pick these up in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly. They do run a little bit more on the narrow but long side, but it wasn't extreme enough that I had to go up or down a size. If possible, I'd try them on in store to get the perfect fit, but knowing how unfeasible that is given the hype on these is still pretty strong, my best recommendation is just sticking with your true size. From a comfort standpoint, so these React Element 87s is a very, very comfortable sneaker. I personally find that it gives a good balance of soft cushioning, but still having that responsive bounce back property. Compared to Boost, it's probably a little bit firmer, but for some people, that's probably a good thing as well. So with all that being said, now let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these guys look on feet.
as I've mentioned before in other videos, I feel like it's just a matter of time when this React Element 87 bubble is going to burst. However, that's strictly from a hype perspective, but regardless of hype, the comfort on these will never change. I'm curious to see what colorways Nike is going to produce in the near future and how they're strategically going to take this model into the next few years. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys were able to cop either this one or the other two colorways this morning. And I'm also curious to know what you guys think the React Element 87s will be like in the next few months or the next few years down the road. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca Before I end this video, a shout out goes out to Livestock Toronto. I lined up a couple hours before the store opened and it was a very orderly and pleasant experience in line. Also, if you guys didn't watch my previous video of the Jordan 8s, at the time that I'm filming this, I will be heading on vacation this coming Saturday. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna be uploading this when I'm already in the air or the day before. But regardless, don't be surprised if my channel's on a little bit of a hiatus for the next couple weeks. So until next time, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate the continued support and love that's being shown to me. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one.